Yuri Kordov, could you tell a little bit about the planning process? Well, Shell have applied for the, this pipeline through our area, Rossport Village, uh, to the Fast Track Act here in this country, the Bort Planala. Uh, it was designed for industry, and as the word explains, Fast Track, it, it, it's a faster process than the normal planning permission that you would go for a house or shop or whatever. Um, so in all, I suppose, that's in total almost two years um, under the planning board now from the application to the time the oral hearing was opened up to the public for you to have oral um, dis- debate about it, uh, which happened last June, uh, 09. Uh, that was uh, to be judged on then by late August, and uh, the board asked uh, more time. Uh, they hadn't enough time to decide on because it was such a complicated um, project. Uh, Shell, eventually the board made their decision in November 2009 and they have, um, they said basically that three quarters of the pipeline route uh, could not happen, simple as that, for the simple reason that we, as we always argued, it was too near our homes and too dangerous and sh- indeed Shell themselves um, admitted that under cross-examination at Borp stage during the oral hearing that uh, we had 30 seconds to escape had anything to happen the pipeline. Um, that, yeah, um, so with the, with the board saying that, I mean, I suppose you'd have to say, well, all our arguments have been vindicated and people have been proved right um, that this couldn't happen in Rossport. So everything is uh, settled and decided then, or? Mm, unfortunately not. Um, when the board made that decision, uh, they gave three months to Shell to come back with um, maybe looking at a, in, an alternative route in and around the vicinity of Rossport. And that being the, the place they're suggesting really is the strand alongside the village of Rossport so that they could bring this pipeline up and into the refinery at Balnaboy. Um So the board gave them three months to come back with the information. And the three months ended uh, just two days ago. Uh, Which is uh, uh, f- um, February the fifth was the date they had to come back with an answer. Um, but just a week before that due date, uh, Shell wrote to the board saying they needed more time because of the complicated issues. And um, at the same time, you had the department here, our our energy department. Um, one of the minister's uh, right hand man, I'd say, civil servants. Uh, writing to the board as well, near, basically finding fault in the board that they didn't have the right to say no and that they should have granted this and that there was enough codes of practice and that he drew up the codes and move on with it. Um, as far as anyone can see in that, that's interfering in the process because the, the time for submissions was over and he didn't have the right to write to the board because that would, as far as I can see, that is interfering in the law. And um, that's quite public now. I mean, it isn't been done behind closed doors. That letter is available on the website. Uh, so I would ask, you know, people out there in Norway and Stat- Statoil, the company, um, if they want to be associated with corruption, that's the f- that's a sign, an open sign. We know this corruption going on. You know, we all have our beliefs in corruption that's happening in the Irish government. But if this is public. So if, if Statoil wants to be associated with corruption, they're worse than, than the government, our government, anyway. Um, you know, we've always heard that Statoil wouldn't want to do something like this in their own country, to their own citizens. But it's sad if it's okay to do it to us as other citizens of another country. Um, you know, we always heard the phrases like, if you heard someone stole some property or some goods and you bought them, you were as bad as the person that stole them. So you'd have to say stem, stat oil is, is bad if that's the road they want to proceed. Um, at the moment now, back to the board plan all this stage, um, now the board has decided to offer four months more to Shell uh, to come up with the answers that they looked for seven months ago. Um, so, I mean, the, they seem to be extending the time of the Infrastructure Act uh, that was brought in to fast track. 
you, it, like if I or anybody else was under the planning process, you wouldn't get this extension of time. And Shell shouldn't either. Um, they should throw it out. Uh, but obviously there's something going on there that, uh, to be fair to the board, I don't think they can make the 100% the um, no because of they feel that they're under pressure. I believe they're under pressure from the Irish government uh, to, to push this in as they try to pretend it's in the national interest. We all know it's not. It's, a, it's The only interest it's in is Shell and Statoil for profit because Ireland will have to buy it back at its going rate. So it's, it's, not, it's not ours, it's, it's not the government's. There's no law made between Statoil, Shell and the government to sell the gas to Ireland. It's for export.